This story is crazy. Last Sunday, a 59-year-old man was smoking and having a drink with a woman on this busy street in Toronto when a group of eight teen girls approached them and tried to take their alcohol. When the two resisted, the girls attacked the man and stabbed him multiple times. The man was brought to a nearby hospital, but doctors weren't able to save him and he later died. The girls apparently met on social media and police are calling it a swarming attack. They come from varying parts of the city, that is to say they are not from one specific geographic location. We don't know how or why they met on that evening and why the destination was downtown Toronto. Uh, we, don't know, we don't know how long they have been acquainted together with each other, but I wouldn't describe them as a gang at this point. What they are alleged to have occurred that evening would be consistent with what we traditionally call a swarming or swarming type behavior. Police also found weapons as part of their investigation and said three of the girls had contact with police before while the other five have not. The girls age range from 13 to 16. Their identities haven't been released because they're all so young but they're all in custody and are being charged with second degree murder. Police are still investigating and the girls have a court date set for this week. Roman at some odd time of the hours. I mean, you just, that's just some kids that age don't need to be fucking doing. So then that's when you start to question who are the parents, who they're supposed to be with, who's supposed to keep an eye on them. You know what I'm saying? And I hope they don't think the 16 year old, which is old enough to watch them, but if they all like a little posse or something, like, like they were saying, they not all from the same area. They all met up. So. That's what got me puzzled, it's just random people meeting up doing stupid shit. This is what it sounds like. All right, y'all, so we back with a disturbing 911 call now. I think this one, um, then like a foreign country, um, like the UK or France or somewhere, I don't know. But anyway, I hope you guys like him, you know what I'm saying? If you've been rocking with me for a little bit, I hope you guys like the content that I'm bringing. Um, as well as in the new people who stop by. I appreciate you if you subscribe. You know what I'm saying? It's free. Help me out. Um, like and comment down below. That's how I'm bringing this feedback. So I know, you know what I'm saying? What to bring. And it's just a review and a reaction channel. As well as an informational channel. Because crazy shit happens in the news every day. And we need to be informed of what's going on. But anyway, I ain't going to uh, make this too long. So let's get it. I grabbed the knife off her because I thought she was going to stab me, so I stabbed her back. And I was so heated up with anger, I just kept stabbing and stabbing and stabbing her, and I, I, I took off her head. 57-year-old Rita Camilleri was stabbed over 100 times before being brutally decapitated by her own daughter. You mean to tell me this girl stabbed her mother fucking over 100 times and then got them decapitated her head? What type of shit is that? Like, what type of shit is that? And yeah, it do something like that in a foreign country or something, or she just slow. Hell, the bitch is slow and retarded because that's just some shit you don't do. But I ain't gonna code y'all up. Um, we about to get into why she did it and all the craziness about this shit. Jessica Camilleri. In their Sydney home in July 2019, Jessica, covered in her mother's blood, asked a neighbor to call the police. Hello. Hello, this is Alison from Police Emergency. We just received a call from this number. Uh, yes, I need you to get the ambulance and the police out here immediately. To which address? Please come. I need you. This is our immediate our life or death situation. Which and suburb or town is that in? St. Clair, St. Clair, okay, St. So Clair. St. Clair, and what's the nearest crossroad, please? Um, what's the nearest one? Listen, can you, can you talk to the neighbour? I'm flustered. Can you just talk to him? Uh, could you, because my hand's bleeding, yeah. Thank you. Can you talk to it? Oh, oh, my finger's broken. I can't. It's all right. Okay, call for Hello? Hi. Yeah. What happened? I don't know. We were just at um, home. But, uh, she just uh, uh, came in screaming for help. And when suddenly I opened the door, she said, uh, just help me and call the uh, police or ambulance. And uh, she said to me, yeah. She had a fight with uh, her mom, I think. Okay. Um, My mom tried to stab me and I'm her, I think. So did she just say her mom tried to stab her? I don't know because of the... Yes, yes. Yeah. I don't know. And I, in self-defense, I think I killed her. 
Yeah. Can you tell him to come immediately? Yeah. Can Can you please uh, just come immediately, please? Okay. So she believes that she may have killed her her mother. Yes. Yeah. She said like this. Yeah. Yes. And yes. where is this? At? Is that where you are at the moment? So uh, who? Uh, me? Yeah. So where are you at the moment? I'm I'm, I'm in that. Oh, okay. But she's. Yeah. Is she with you at the moment? Yes. Yeah. She's uh, in the front yard of my house. Okay. All right. Uh, so yeah. how old is her mother? Uh, how old is your mother? My mum's dead, I think. But how old is she? 57. 57. 57. 57. So is she... Damn, that's fucked up. 57 years old, and this little girl killed her damn mom. And you just wonder why she did it. Like, she said it was self-defense, but she sound too, da too damn calm about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, she wanted to do it. You know, some of the stories we've seen, people be all frantic and all this other hysterical and blah, blah, blah shit. That's when you know them motherfuckers fucked up when they start freaking out. But she sounds too calm, like, no, 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 I'm not saying this. This is what I said, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Like, hold on, what the fuck going on? So is she not conscious? Nah. I stabbed her because she tried to kill me. Okay, and you didn't check if she was breathing? No, we can't go there. There's a kid in there. Could you come with me, please? No, I can't go. Sorry about that. No, okay. There's a kid, okay. a, a four-year-old kid yeah, on the phone in the house. Damn, they got a fucking four-year-old that was at the house involved in this shit. You know what I'm saying? Not involved in, like, the, the murder and what happened, but was there when all this craziness was going on. And they up here telling this guy, the neighbor, to go over there. He said, no, I can't go over there. I ain't about to have me over that motherfucker and this little motherfucker try to stab me or some shit, you know what I'm saying? So, I feel the neighbor on that shit, ain't no way. Hey, I seen, on the, I seen her covered in blood, so I decided to call the goddamn police and, no, no, I can't go over there. Yeah, they got too much goddamn negativity going on. I don't even want this motherfucker by me right now. She's so negative. I mean, is her mother severely bleeding? No, because I'm, uh, we, we didn't go to the, the, her house because I'm in, uh, outside of my house because I can't go there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, so do you know what the lady's name is? Can I, my fingers are broken. My yeah, uh, are broken. Uh, her mother is uh, just uh, uh, his name, uh, her name. Jessica Camilleri. Is that your name? Is that the lady's name who called? Yes, yes. Can I talk to her? Yeah. Um, Lady, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Your name's my Jessica? Name my my fingers are broken. Okay. Uh, Mum has ha had enough of me because I admit I've been a challenge, and this this ongoing thing's been going for months. And months anyway. Um, she she had enough of me. She grabbed me by the hair and dragged me from my room all the way to the kitchen. And she got a knife and she tried to stab me with it. And I grabbed the knife off her because I thought she was going to stab me, so I stabbed her back. And I was so heated up with anger, I just kept stabbing and stabbing and stabbing her. And I I, I took off her head. Her head is, um, I, I ran to my neighbour, not this neighbour, um, my other neighbour before this mum, who's on the other side, he was at work. Uh, I told him to call the ambulance and the police immediately. He's going to do so, but no one's at home because everyone in the family is at work now. Okay. So he wasn't much help. He said, all I can do is I'll call the police and the ambulance to my address. And I thought it was going to take a bit of time, so I ran to my other neighbour on the other side. Okay. Um, and I had my mum's head in my hand. I know this sounds insane but I was taking it for evidence to show the neighbour. In the struggle, in the frustration, I didn't know what I was doing. I cut her head off. I chopped her head off with a knife. Okay, what type of knife was it? Um, th there was all sorts of knives. There was about um, seven knives uh, Seven knives I was stabbing her with. A few of the knives broke. When that knife broke, I got another one and did the same. Where's the knives now? All oh, this motherfucker crazy, yo. How the hell you use them many goddamn knives to kill somebody? You wanted to kill her. Which was fucking sad, like you was filled with that much rage and hate in your heart that you wanted to kill your mom. And and then you start to wonder why, you know what I'm saying, she killed her mom. Like, I know some people, it's, it's unjustifiable of why she murdered her mom. All I'm trying to say is, was she in a bad home? What the hell was going on? You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. They're all in the kitchen. Every, there's blood everywhere. There's blood everywhere. Yes. And they're all outside the house? Yes. 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 Um, the ambulance and the police have rocked up. Do you want to stay on the phone? No, that's okay. What's your phone number, Jessica? Um, look, 
Not, you're better off, this is my mum's phone number, but my mum's not here anymore, okay? She's gone. Okay, what's your date of birth? Um, October 12th, 1993. Over here, over here. Alright, I'll let you go speak to the police. Yeah, yeah, hang up, okay? Okay, uh, bye. Why can't I'm full of blood? 27-year-old Jessica Camilleri reportedly suffered from various mental disorders and the knowledge that her mother was committing her to a mental health facility, combined with the fact that the two had gotten Red Rooster takeout. An altercation reportedly broke out when Rita denied getting Jessica the second delivery of food. Jessica's anger over being locked away in a mental home bubbled over. She attacked her sole caregiver, and her only friend, her mother, in a manner that has been described as the most horrible death imaginable. She dragged her mother into the kitchen by her hair and attacked her with steak knives, stabbing her fatally and beheading her. She removed her mother's tongue, eyeballs, and nose, and ate the eyeball. These acts were later claimed to be inspired by her alleged obsession with horror movies like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. According to detectives, Camilleri reportedly spent a lot of time calling on strangers telephonically and intimidating them with horror-inspired threats to cut off their heads and shred them. Police statements say that Camilleri initially claimed self-defense, stating that her mother had attacked her first by having her sent back into a mental facility, but this was quickly discarded. Jessica Camilleri was arrested and charged with murder but pleaded not guilty. She contended that she was powerless against her complex and overlapping psychiatric disorders such as autism, intellectual disabilities, and explosive disorder that allegedly took control of her that fatal night. The charge was then reduced to manslaughter due to the severity of her mental impairment. The prosecution also found that Camilleri was not at all remorseful about her actions. After the ghastly assault, she dropped her mother's head outside their house and reportedly only showed concern for herself and future well-being. She did not express any sorrow or remorse for her mother. In March 2021, Jessica Camilleri was sentenced to 21 years and 7 months in prison for the brutal decapitation of her mother. Well, we did not know. I thought there was a little girl. This motherfucker had her down 20s and shit. Motherfucker grown as hell. So she just was a fucking mental patient um, who didn't get the proper help that she needed. Now, she can never be out in the world again because she could do the same shit to somebody else. Or she could be filled with so much guilt that she can motherfucking goddamn hurt her and harm herself. So I hope she's on a, a super tight watch because her eating body parts and mm, yeah, y'all already heard it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't about to go into detail of that because that is just too goddamn much uh, for me.